So on this project, we're going to put in this 12 volt setup. And uh, we're back here in the back of the FD model where the dinette is. And there's no place to plug in anything back here, USB or even uh, the, uh, the 12 volt plug. The only one they have is back here behind the, the uh, TV. And I had a splitter on that. You can see it's splitter over here. But I decided I'm going to put this in place. I ordered this on Amazon. And this one here has a USB setup. Actually has a 12 volt. And it actually has, it actually tells you your voltage. And so uh, we're going to hook this up and have it where we can turn it off. That way that bright light and we don't burn that power when we're not using it. But uh, we're probably going to put my Wii Boost because I used it back here in this far corner and that's going to plug into here to use that 12 volt. But anyway, we've taken the um, radio out just and that's what we're going to do is we're going to put it right up in here. We've measured this a little smaller than our area. We're going to cut that area out, run our wires through. We have a a uh, a red and a white wire here going into the stereo, so we're going to break loose these connectors and probably wire nut our rest of our connectors in the nice thing about this this setup here is it's already got the wires already made up to do what you need it to do you just follow the instructions and plug them where you need to and then you have two wires coming out a black and a red which reds your hot blacks your uh, negative so we're going to go ahead and get this cut, this hole, see if it fits, run our wires, and then try to get this hooked up. So we've got our hole cut there. We used a, uh, a one inch uh, bit just to do the four corners. Then I used my jigsaw down here to kind of cut it in. The nice thing about this new jigsaw I got, it has a real slow speed, so it works really well for that. Just to kind of zip around there and cut it out. It may have to be adjusted a little bit out. I want to be real careful because the tolerances on this are really close. So uh, we'll dry fit it and see how it works. So I got that uh, dry fit in there. And now I'm going to take the uh, four screws and put them in the in each corner there. Like I say, it's, I had to actually go over to several times because I wanted to make it. I don't want to be careful because I don't have much area. And I didn't want that hole to extend out past the the uh, box so we'll get those screws in there and see about getting it hooked up we run the wire down through here here's the two wires black and red and it does have a small fuse in this one here so you want to actually cut it down below that way you can utilize that fuse so this is going to be hooked into these two sections right here we've got to disconnect these weird clamps up that forest river uses and we're going to end up using the big wire nut like this here on that. Hopefully that'll fit out good. So we'll see about getting that in. Again, the red wire is hot plus and the uh, black wire is negative. So I've got this hooked back up. Like I say, here's the black wire from the stereo. Red wire is down in here. So the red wire goes to this one back here. And then the black one goes to this one. I did use the wire nut that had a hole in the top. It's supposed to be for some kind of setup. But I just put some tape over that. Those wire nuts work pretty good. But we're going to go ahead and stuff it back in the hole. And uh, see how it works. We've already tested it out. Just throwing it on here real quick just to see. And then we'll get it back in and make sure the radio works. So we're finished with that project. Uh, there we we got this thing all put back in four screws on here we test everything else radio works uh, turn on the turn on the system here you get your voltage and then down here you have different uh, USB setups and this actually has a little switch it'll turn off the USB setup so I'm not sure why you'd want to do that but that's kind of nice and we're gonna end up putting our Wii boost plug in the end of that setup so that's going to end up being a good fix for us plus we'll have we are when we're off grid we'll be able to use this setup here 
for charging phones and things when we're over here on our dinette. So uh, that's about all I have on this. This was a quick little uh, how to put a, another 12 volt setup in here. And like I say, you can tie into this 12 volt that goes to this radio. And uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, it didn't take me, I guess, about 15, 20 minutes. It took longer to get the tools and actually do the job. So there you have it. And I hope that helps you out if you're doing a project like this. We'll see you again on another one.